Hello everyone, this is Mark Major and we are at the Action Figuratorium. As some of you know, I am a real big uh, toy collector and I like to collect a lot of toys. And um, today I thought I would do kind of a cool unboxing video for, uh, for all the people out there who are seeing certain things online in retail and you're wondering, hmm, is that maybe something I would be interested in getting? And so today is not going to be really any different. I'm going to go take the plunge so that you don't have to. Um, I'm going to be looking at this Joy Toy 118th scale uh, pack of two military dogs. Look at that. You get two German Shepherds and uh, they look kind of cool. Joy Toy is uh, known for being kind of a high-end manufacturer of action figures, mostly in the 118th scale. And so anything like this is going to be particularly cool. But also, um, I'm checking this out because these guys are actually on clearance over at uh, Small Joe's. And they have them for, uh, when I bought these, they were $20. They've actually dropped the price again to $19. It's as if they're watching my catch and release show in which I lower the price until you own it. So I'm going to be cutting open this box, and we're going to look at these toys, and we're going to put them next to some, uh, some other Joy Toy soldiers. So stick around. Here we are at the uh, bench, as I like to call it, and we're going to, um, yeah, that's my hand. We're going to be cutting this thing open. What do you guys think? Um, I'm going to try and be very delicate when uh, using the X-Acto knife. It's real easy to, on occasion, uh, slice into package. So let's see if we can uh, can operate this without any casualties. Friendly fire. Well, look at that. There's a little bit of Velcro involved in this pack. Wow. This is fancy. So you flip this thing open. It's got little Velcro tabs, and look. There's a couple of a couple of doggies in there. Take the full plastic off, I say yeah. And should we open from the side? I say yeah. Pull the tray out. Look at that. Well, what's cool is when you flip open the package and there's uh there's you can see the family family photos right there. So no frills. Just kind of comes in the tray. A nice paint job on these guys. They uh, they look just like like they do in the photo. Um, one has. Uh, has a collar, and one has a harness, and is kind of carrying a set of saddlebags that may or may not detach. Uh, so that is molded into the dog. If you get these dogs, knowing know that one of them is a hundred percent a military dog because he's officially comes with. Uh, you know, saddlebags. So if you're thinking, oh, this might be a cool thing to have a dog out in the yard, well, your dog is going to have saddlebags. Take that into account if you happen to fall in love with these dogs while watching this video here. I'm going to check the uh, articulation on these guys. They've got quite a bit of joints. And uh, they've done the hind legs pretty well. So you got kind of like shoulders that move. You got two parts to the leg, and then the paw flips up and down, a bit of a hinge. And they do every leg essentially like that. The tail is on a ball joint. That's pretty cool. 
and the head is on a ball joint and there's like a mane that kind of goes around it to cover up the um, area where the joint is in between the two parts. So these dogs look pretty good. I, oh man, I don't know. Let's, let's find some soldiers to put them with. So here we've got Fritz and then we've got Fritz's buddy. <clears throat> and uh, each guy has a dog and they're on patrol. I think I can make this turn around. What do you guys think of that? So these, I don't know, the Joy Toy people keep keep impressing me. Um, these don't weigh a lot. They're, they're really kind of light. And I get the feeling that if you wanted to use them in like a diorama or posing them or photography or something, I, I feel like they're, they're kind of might tip over because of how light they are. They could use some kind of weight to them. And so you might want to uh, get some of that sticky putty to keep them down. But I think that these are going to be cool additions. I mean, you can always use dogs. Now, could you use these with one twelfth scale? So you've got some G.I. Joe guys and you want to have some, some dogs. Well, you know, there could be small dogs. There could be puppies. You know, the G.I. Joe guys are going to be this tall, so they're going to be, you know, they'd still work. They still look realistic. They look like dogs, you know, and uh, saddlebags can be whatever size you want. So I don't think that's a problem. So any cats out there who were into like that sort of, you know, six inch, one twelfth scale, and you want some cool articulated, uh, well, at least one military dog, you know, shepherds, that kind of thing, I think you could get away with a couple of these as just sort of like little buddies. And, um, you know, they don't have to be huge. They're not particularly huge with these guys. They only come up to about his knee, you know, it's, uh, I think that's pretty good. They look pretty interesting. They look pretty interesting for dogs. They both kind of doing that thing like they're seeing a squirrel. I wish like one had kind of a, you know, it wasn't just the same head twice that they kind of had a different sculpt or maybe it was, you know, different dog expression, that kind of thing. You know, maybe like one ear cocked. I don't know. Um, this is just kind of a, uh, a quick unboxing of something that I had ordered with a bunch of other toys. And, um, you know, I think it's, uh, I think it's worth checking out to let people know that these are a pretty good deal. And if you, uh, see them out in the wild for around $20, well, that's a good price to pay. And, uh, and I wouldn't recommend going much, much higher because like I said, one of them comes molded with the saddlebags and so you're pretty much stuck using that guy as um you know some kind of mountain rescue dog so with that i will catch everybody on the next one